Hello today and we're going to do a little review on a new power supply that I bought. It's the ACE ATX power supply. 750 watts. Now how much would you expect to pay for a 750 watt power supply? £100? £50? Or even £40? No. I paid £22. Something, well just under £23 for it. But I'm not gonna I've already I'm not gonna do an unboxing of it. Well what's the point of I really can't understand why people do unboxing of stuff. I don't see the point. But I've already opened the box, so here it is. I'll try and get the bloody thing out now. I've already took it out of the packaging once. It's still in its silver wrapper. I did open the, the plastic there, so here it is. It's Rev version 2.3, it says there. Don't know what that means, but who cares? So what do we get? So here's all our cables. So by the looks of it we get one, two, three, four SATA connections and we get um one two three Molex. So obviously we get our motherboard um connections. Don't know what can't remember the name of that. Um well it's a special name for it but I can't bloody remember. Um a small one, yeah, <laughs> there's a name for that which I can't remember. And there's the the power that goes into next to the CPU. I gather that's the power to the CPU, I think. And this red one. I don't know what this red one is all about. I know it can't be for graphics cards because um, graphics cards is four pin, but I don't know what that could be. But let's say. For 20, 24, oh bloody 24, just up for under 23 quid, that's quite a good deal. Because it ain't going into this computer, it ain't going, in, going into nothing, it's not going into a gaming machine or anything. Because I know it might be 750 watt, but I know this damn well, damn well, this can't power a proper graphics card. Or not if it, 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 a proper graphics card that um, needs... CP um, power supply unit um, to control um, to power it as well, but this, as I say, I don't know what that red pin. What perhaps someone knows what that does? I don't know, but I'm sure it can't be for a graphics card. So if you've got a, like a a small graphics card or something like that, and you're happy with this, might suffice. But I don't know, for 22 quid, hey, you can't go wrong because obviously it's good for uh, the extra SATA. Um, extra Molex, that's about it really, but you know, we'll, st we'll do some testing on it and see how what it's like, but well here it is, it's actually gone, Amazon has actually put it up in price now, so here it is, a 750 watt BR PSU with 12 centimeter fan and PFC, whatever PFC is, I do not know, perhaps you can tell me. Um, yeah, it's actually £25.57 now, but I didn't pay that for it. Um, let's go back. Uh, where are we? That's what I paid for it. Um, £22.76. Yeah, but look at, you know, I try and do reviews. If I get, like, I like to look for cheap stuff, see if, if it's good or not. Because I've done a few reviews on, like, solid state drives and... PC cases, so you know, I like to, if it's for a budget, don't cost very much, I like to if it ain't for a good computer you know, I like to, I use a lot of spare computer parts to build a computer, and I like to use budget parts, just to see what they're like actually, but yeah all that, so it'll do the job I think for 20, 22 quid 23 quid rather I will install it, see what it's like on the just looked on the side of the box, here we go, it tells you what things are. 24 pin ATX, obviously connects to your motherboard. Um, that's the 12 volt 4 pin, connects to the CPU next to the, on the motherboard. So there's this 3 pin thing, the 6 pin PCIe. So perhaps it is for graphics cards. Um, so we know what SATA is. Oh yeah, it's a floppy disk for it, but you can also use it for other things like uh, sound cards or whatever, whatever has to be powered. 
if it requires it and your molex okay so we know what all that does now anyway thank you so much for watching till next time and goodbye